Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, we are in the middle of nowhere um, currently and just having a good discussion and just having our minds going. So we wanted to share some thoughts with you. And so we were listening to Steve, you know, who's a good friend over at WSO and Bobby Relentless Maverick. And they were having a great discussion and they were watching a video um, and it was all about the science of the mind and what we know right now scientifically concerning how our thoughts are formed, you know, the chemical reactions that take place. And it gets into beliefs and belief systems. And so the thought was, truly, we can never have a truly free thought if we are limited by a belief system. Because the belief system itself will limit our, our frame of how we actually frame our thoughts. It's controlled by the belief system. We've talked about this being a matrix, and it most, most definitely is. And when we look at, say, the Masons, you know, the Freemasons, and they're worshiping the great architect, but at a higher level or a different level, are they also talking about the architect of the matrix? And they're, well, the secret societies and the bloodlines that rule this planet, have ruled this planet, are they talking about them creating the framework of basically this reality and also thusly through the belief systems that we are given, controlling our thoughts and the outcome of our thoughts as well? Uh, we know how powerful supercomputers are, quantum computers now, and, and you know they can predict outcomes. And so when we see all this, and those of us that are really starting to question everything, questioning everything, and that's most of you that are listening on this channel, we, we question without uh, accepting. And it's good that we question everything. Because what we, we see, what just blindly following what others give us has led to the incessant wars, the limited mind frame, belief systems that believe that we are inherently flawed for being, for just being. These things are how we've been controlled. So we've talked about this being the great apocalypse, you know, the time of the great unveiling, but it's hitting me, this is the time of the great undoing. Because we have to undo everything that's been done to us. We have to undo the damage that these negative belief systems have done to us. And for many of us, you know, these belief systems are our, you know, they're like Linus's blankie from uh, Charlie Brown, right, from Peanuts. It's, it's a safety net. And sometimes we can't face the fact that maybe our belief system is wrong, especially when we've been brought up in one particular belief system, whether that's, you know, liberal, democrat, whether it's Christian, is Islamic, uh, atheist, Hindu, whatever it is. Some of us, and many of us, have vehemently defended it, even breaking the teachings of the belief system to a degree, like judging not lest ye be judged, for instance, uh, in defending our belief system because it, in a way, it's taken as a personal attack on ourselves, our very center of being. Often the belief system gives us our center of being. We have an inherent need to belong. And that's something that is human because instinctively we know we're all part of something greater, although we don't recognize that and we've kind of been taught the opposite to think that every man is on an island totally to themselves, which is not the case. The great leap in consciousness is not going to come from any one religion forcing its will on any other religion. It's not going to come from any one political ideology forcing itself on others. It's going to come in recognizing that there's a unity, unity through diversity, and that's not so easily understood, especially when we can be so dogmatic and so judgmental because of the beliefs that we were programmed with. And it is a programming, and it's a purposeful programming. Think of schooling. 
kids are graded on how well or how well they accept the program is how they're graded. It's really not about critical thinking. It, it, it's about accepting the program that you've been given. And so, let me see what Cindy has to say about this. Sorry, guys. Well, you're doing so good. I didn't want to interrupt you. You're flowing really, really nice. Um, yeah, when it comes to the school system, I think it starts when we're really young. It's an attack on our consciousness. So if we're not too good at something, um, you know, the teacher grades the paper and send, gives you back a paper with a whole bunch of red check marks, which basically says you suck. And they start at our children at a very young age with a little bit of trauma um, for doing something that they thought was right. And I think that's where the attack on consciousness starts. And yeah, the, the bigger companies, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, um, I believe they put together, very strategically, mind you, put together our school systems so that we'll, it will keep our children in a box. Because you also take pride on what you learn. So anything that it goes against what you've um, learned and accomplished, you're going to automatically lash out at and you're going to be unaccepting of what other people might think or believe. And that's where we need to have a coming together of, of understanding, you know, a meeting of the minds of if you have a different belief system, it's okay. And it's okay to let your neighbor have that different belief system. It doesn't make it right or wrong. It just works for you. So, and, you know, another thing I noticed with people uh, that struggle with PTSD, um, major, major traumas, sometimes I think the system has done that to us also because that will actually damage your brain in the sense where if something comes at you, you're automatically going to go down the trail of, oh my God, something horrible is going to come of this instead of thinking automatically the most wonderful thought. So we are very... We're constructed on purpose to think in a negative way. And it, it's been like this for years and years and years. But now we're learning with the brain, we can, with, with the brain plasticity, we can change that. We can change that. And you might have to force through some really good thoughts and really squash the bad thoughts. But we can do that now, which is really exciting to me. Exactly. You know, so... It's, it's hit me that we are so conditioned all the time to create a very, very limited reality, a limited frame line of reality. So how do we, how do we break the system? It's not through revolution in the streets. It's through enough of us waking up to no longer accept the system. It's, it's, it's also waking up to our power to create something new. Because we can, and we have tremendous power together. When we recognize that each of us is, and I've said this so many times, we're all a cell in something much bigger, a much bigger body. And yet we have, as we awaken and become conscious of our power, our own individual abilities just blossom to such an extent. One awakened individual can achieve so much more than thousands of unawakened individuals. So as we turn the tide and wake up thousands, the consciousness on the planet will change and we will simply not accept status quo anymore. And, you know, what does that look like? Well, we're going to have to discover that together. But this again, as I said, you know, this has been called the times of the apocalypse, but to me, this is really not just the great unveiling, but the great undoing. Undoing of the system, undoing of the damage that's been done to us and the planet, and growing into something new through unity. So as always, my friends, thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Share your thoughts on this. Let us know what you are thinking, what you are feeling in your lives, the struggles that you go through, because we all go through these struggles. We had dinner last night with a family member, and it was beautiful. And uh, she let us know just how much 
the videos and the channel over the last two years has affected her in such a positive way. She was going through a very dark night of the soul and, you know, basically said she didn't know if she was going to make it through this, but the channel actually helped her with this. And so that is what it's all about. That is how we can do this as, you know, each of us shines our light brighter. We're going to affect more and more people and it's just going to become this gigantic avalanche of awakening that's completely irresistible and something that the powers that be will not be able to stop and we are we are right there we are right on the cusp of this so always hold your head up head up high and know that there's tremendous power inside of you and together tremendous power inside of all of us to manifest this positive new reality as we throw away the shackles of the old system so my friends as always thank you for your support ko-fi patreon and like share subscribe click the bell for all the notifications god bless and namaste namaste